being a founder is incredibly rewarding. One of the things I've learned is that you really need to be clear of your vision. And if you're not clear of your vision, you can't articulate it, then how will people follow you? My name is Ian Stewart. I'm the CEO and founder of Security Risk, and uh, we're now called Software Risk. I was working in an organisation. It was good and, uh, and it's exciting to be in an organisation with lots of people, lots of things going on. But I think there's not enough people who take that experience and say, well, how might I make things better for everyone? And uh, for me, I wanted to be part of uh, the entrepreneurs who are looking at, well, there's a real problem here and there's a real need for that problem to be solved. And how might we solve it? When you're putting operations together, you are solving problems just for that operation in that place and in that time. But when you're putting a startup company together, you're looking to solve a broader problem for everyone uh, for all time. And that's what I think is the real difference. The problem we're trying to solve in Software Risk is uh, how services companies run their businesses. Our first product is Security Risk Manager. We solve the problem of how you might operate a security business and we've managed to create a platform of product services that effectively can run every part of your business. Before, you would run this through lots of meetings, uh, lots of walking around, lots of notebooks, and uh, it's really inefficient. To have things run well, you need the best staff you can ever get, but you can't always get them in some places. So if you have software that automates the way things are done, and it makes people accountable, it removes some of that human error risk that you might have about things being missed. And that's the thing we're trying to solve, is just getting services delivered consistently, no matter where, no matter what. When you start a company, the first thing is actually realising what you're doing. The trick is you need to know what kind of business you are, but also you need to know what kind of business you're not. For us, we took a, I think we took a good year of working out what kind of software we're going to build. It's a big difference between what we thought we might build and what we've actually built. It took a good two years for us to work out what our product was going to be for us to get it to a release point. The release version hasn't been tested in the market, there's been no customers. And then once we got our first customer, that was really a relief point. And then uh, working with that first customer, uh, developing the next version of our product, it was the product that we wish we'd launched with, and uh, that was when we feel that not only have we made it, but we've made something that someone will use, and it's excellent. And we feel, you know, there's a real sense of pride about what we've done and, uh, and what we managed to produce, and we know it really addresses what we're looking to. Before we knew what our product was, we did values workshops with our people and we started with values first and I think there's a lot of startups that get carried away in their own success and growth and they don't look at their people. One of our catchphrases is keeping people safe. Now, you can't keep people safe if the software doesn't work and you can't keep people safe unless you care about people. So we've really worked hard on our values as a company to reflect some of those things in our company. Starting with values first and then growing outwards from there has been important. I think that really does help us avoid some of the poor cultures you see in some other startups. We've started off just looking to build security software and as we've gone along we've realised that the aspects of security software are very common to a lot of services industries and we've rebranded our company to be Software Risk and the reason for that is, is that we're building new software that has similar attributes to security risk and we have uh, beta release products in uh, maintenance risk that looks at solving how uh, equipment and facilities are maintained. And we also have a uh, movement risk, which is looking at secure movements of people and parcels in real time with real time tracking. So you can have a lot of confidence about how things move and safely and securely. And another one is cleaning risk is that very similar to security risk is that managing your cleaning operations and your tasks and your scheduled cleaning is another opportunity. So over the next five, 10 years, they're the four products we actually have in test stage now. So, but over the next five to 10 years, we have a range of products in the same sorts of areas. And, uh, you know, we've evolved from a company that builds software for security to a software company that builds software for the services industry. I think uh, everyone should try finding something <laughs> in their life. I mean, it's frightening to do something new that you've never done before but it's worthwhile and you really are confident the vision is exactly what's needed. It's not hard and it's just about perseverance to stick with it and make sure that you last the journey and uh, it's just about yeah, sticking with it, I think.